felt today maybe more like the real Kevin Rucker. <laughs> maybe last week, or two weeks ago. Yeah. You feel like you're back there. 100%. Oh yeah, 100%. Um, you know, just uh, coming off the knee injury, you know, just of course, just like I feel like, you know, obviously when you get the surgery, you know, there's going to be some things that, you know, mentally that you need to get over more so than a physical standpoint because, you know, the surgery happened, it's healed, and you're ready to go, you're ready to go. And um, so for me, it was a mental hump to get over because I've had some knee procedures in the past. But um, for me, it's just like once I, once I got over it, knowing that it's healed, it's been fixed, you know, prayed over it, all these things, man. It's just, now I gotta just do my job and just be me, you know. How about 10 sacks for the team? The defense hey, that's, that just shows you hard how great our defense is. You know, obviously for the past few weeks has been a drought, you know, just um, dealing with all the things that we dealt with. But man, this was, um, I think this was a turning point for our team, our defense, because we're capable of doing what we did today every single game for 60 minutes, first through the fourth quarter. And, um, you know, I feel like this was a great um, win coming off the bye week. I think everybody had that mentality of knowing that like, once we get off this bye week, we got to turn this thing around, having the potential to win out and things of that nature. So I firmly believe that and just us having this 10 sacks today just shows you how dominant this defense and this D-line can be. Okay, Did you feel like? Two, you've had two dominant defensive performances as a team against the FBS teams, the opener and today. A common thread is you run the field and healthy. How much do you sense that you elevate the play of the defense across the board because of your presence out there and the variety of things you can do? I mean, if you want me to be honest, I just feed off the other guys as much as, I mean, I guess they would feed off of me. You know, it's just like, for me, I'm just always like, <clears throat> one of those guys who just like, you know, I don't really want to look at the scoreboard. I choose not to look at the scoreboard. I'm just ready for, the next play, and then the next play after that, next play after that. And so it was just like the guys today, they, they brought all the energy in the world. And, you know, I was just bringing, I was just along with it, and I was just along for the ride. And, um, you know, just I, uh, if that's the case, like for me being out there, if that controls the energy, I mean, like I, I can't take all the credit, man. It ain't all just me. It's also from the defensive standpoint, offensive guys, just everybody individually in their positions, just bringing the juice that they can, man. And today, man, we just, we played how we practiced. We practiced with a lot of fun. We practiced with a lot of energy. We practiced with very, like, very good poise, patience, um, aggressiveness. And today showed that because we played how we practiced. And I think we put a lot of great stuff on film. Of course, there's some stuff to work on. But I think we put a lot of great stuff on film. And I think the energy was contagious to on the sideline. Staying, staying on that for you individually, you took a detour to get back on track here. How rewarding is it for you to go out there healthy, not thinking about about the injury or anything like that, and playing the way that you played? How much fun was it and how rewarding was it? It was, I have so much fun, man. This was, um, this was just as much fun as I had playing high school ball and stuff like that, where it's just like, you know, like I know Coach E, Coach Collins said, like he was watching high school film for a couple of days just to, just to show like how aggressive we can be when we just fly, not thinking, not being confused, and just going out there and dominating. And that's what happened today for not only myself, but for everybody. But it's very rewarding, you know, because <clears throat> with me being out for a while, you know, it's just like you got all these pass rushers that's up for lists, pressures, sacks, and things of that nature. And, you know, my name's not up there. And I mean, like, I'll be lying to you if I said I haven't seen those. So for me to, be back today and have the performance that I had today. I couldn't have done it without my guys, my interior guys, my exterior guys, and of course everybody else on defense. But this is just a this is just a reminder that the butcher's back. So you don't always see a defensive lineman pick off a pass. You rarely see one run 84 yards for a touchdown. Just your thoughts. That just shows how versatile we are, man. Um, it was kind of crazy. I know in, uh, we had a Wednesday practice. We were going through our stuff, and there was a uh, there was like a floater that came across the middle of the field, secured the ball, and I literally did one of those things where you should you shouldn't do is try to run before you catch it, and that's exactly what I did. And I pulled it and I hit it on my knee and I dropped it. Everybody gave me a hard time, and I was like, listen, once I catch this thing on Saturday, all y'all finna be celebrating with me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and then with Javari, man, he that just shows you how athletic he is. <clears throat> just like you know. Him just taking it to the crib, man. That was um, he wanted that bad, and I'm I, 
words can't explain how proud I am of him because for both of us, man, just um, dealing with injuries, personal hardships, personal personal stuff behind the scenes that a lot of people get to see. And um, we we feed off each other for that. We look for support in each other for that. So to both of us having the game that we did, both of us having the picks that we did, the moments that we did, man, that was um, I'm proud of both of us and I'm exceptionally proud of him. Like words can't explain how I am, how proud I am. That's like my brother, so that's all love for him and I'm proud of him. Oh, what? Y'all yes. seen this? Okay. <laughs> Maybe it was a stiff arm. I didn't, I didn't see the arm. That's a, that's a, see, that's, that's, that's a whole stiff. That was Cole Andrews. Andrews. Yeah. He, he, he yeah. literally looked like some old Heisman. That's the Heisman. That's, Heisman. Heisman. that's what I'm trying to make. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to make. He better ball security. <laughs> I'm about to say. Came, came in no the slow guy neither, so. Max said he looked up, he saw five. He said, that's not JJ, is it? Nah. That's Jabari Ritzy, man. There's more than one five out here. Came in the. Can you uh, kind of talk about the scene in that push. locker room when you went in there? Obviously, we heard the uh, music blaring, you know, from the air. Just can you explain just what you know that scene was like while we were doing? Um, it felt great, man. You know, just like like I said, we had this little bit of a drought lately, but you know, I feel like this was a great win for all of us just to take that, to get that pressure off of us, to get pressure off our backs, you know, and because it's not easy taking as many losses in the row as we did, but for us to remove that to be like all right this is our first win going forward this is how we're going to move forward with this of course there's some corrections we can live with this we can have fun with this win but we also know that we still have an opponent ahead of us so just having fun understanding i think we're all on the same page with that as well just knowing like let's have fun with this today let's be glad let's be thankful but knowing that by sunday at the end of sunday we got another opponent in fsu and i know they're going to bring us their best and we're going to bring our best so we got to understand like we got the next opponent up, and we got to focus on them after this win. So, but we're happy though. We are happy though. It felt like the South Carolina. The last one. It, it felt like the South Carolina game. The way those sacks started piling up from from last year. Is there? Do you have any sense of why you all will have these just games where ten sacks, nine sacks, just a mountain of sacks? Yeah. Like, where do the? Do you have any sense of where these come from when they do come? Uh, nah, it's just. You know, having trust in Coach Collins in the play in the game plan, and this game plan didn't involve us doing a lot of shifts, a lot of motions, a lot of exotic stuff. It was just base calls and just going out and doing what we do best, and that's to cause problems for any other offense. And so I feel like us just doing that, showing that when we do that consistently throughout a game, can't nobody stop us up front, and that can't nobody stop our defense. Period. So, all right, thanks, David.